Hi, Hi Stephen. Hi. So about your Dream Fellowship, could you give me a bit of a background for your research? Okay, my research before the Dream Fellowship was really looking at dynamics. So I'm a mathematician, I do models, or I do modelling, and we were looking at models of engineering structures, sand dunes, and then more recently models of people, how people behave. So this was kind of the background leading up to the fellowship. So what made you apply for the Dream Fellowship? Actually, in the work that I've been doing, I'd realised that there was a lot of things that you could really bring into play if only you had the freedom and the time to do it. I needed to have some spare time to think about how different elements can be brought into my research. So I got these ideas that we could use sort of art and language to help us really understand how better to frame our problems and certainly to help people understand them much better. Tell me a bit more about what you did during the project. Actually, I did a lot of activities where I got together groups of people, scientists, um, mathematicians, but also policy makers as well, um, so try and bring them together to really understand how our connected world is very connected, but also how we could do really try and help us understand how those implications of those connections. So any highlights during your research? The best thing by far is the kind of art science events. I'm really interested in the kind of visual approach to narrative, how we can actually arrive at a visual narrative, because many people really respond in different ways to a visual narrative. So arriving at posters like this, which help us understand things in a different way, has been really one of the highlights for me. So actually getting scientists and artists to work together, not just to paint pretty pictures, but to actually engage in the research process. Great. So, did the Dream Fellowship impact others during your project? Actually, I think it did. I mean, the meetings that we've had have really highlighted to many people the advantage of coming together and working as groups together, not just in isolation. So, mathematicians typically work on problems by themselves, but actually coming together with groups studying uh, uh, anthropology, for instance, and art is a really incredibly useful exercise. It helps solve problems, but actually gives you a great amount of satisfaction as well. So it really, I think, impacted other people quite a lot. How has it changed the way you work? So I think it's got me out of my box. I mean, instead of just solving the small problems that I was doing, um, it's made me think about the sort of a whole wider issues about creativity within the process of research, you know, even for a mathematician. It's actually, I mean, I've always been a diagrams person, so I, I've always encouraged my students to do good diagrams, but now I think the actually engaging artists in the actual research process from the beginning is also really quite um, useful to us, so I, that has really changed the way I will do things in the future. I've also been very interested in how we can take that to the people in the street and policy makers. So this is something that has gone beyond anything I've done before. So the whole policy making end has is, is really extended my work tremendously. So, as you said, future. Any plans now? I would like to try and keep developing the, the narrative, the visual narrative, but also the written narrative as well, to try and see how we can you know, perhaps use technology to condense down the information that we produce as scientists to form a simpler narrative that, so other people, politicians and people in the street can understand it in a much better way. Trying to develop large scale models which go across policy domains and spatial scales is really quite difficult but is the area that I would like to do work in. Um, I would like to try and keep some of the art science things um, balls in the air if I'm juggling using my juggling metaphor and because I think really this is quite critical in helping not only me understand what I'm doing, but help others as well. That's great. Thank you very much, Steve.